Hey guys, we're gonna take you through a whole day with the OnePlus 10 Pro. We're gonna check out how it serves my daily routines, we're gonna track its battery, its performance, we're gonna talk about design and camera, of course. And it's 8.30, we started off the day with 100% battery life, let's move on. I've got my earbuds, I've got my music, I've got Strava installed, we're gonna start with a quick jog. Also, stick around to hear about today's sponsor, Roboform Password Manager, who make it super easy for me to switch from one device to the other to the next, by, and uh, still keeping all my uh, login details and accounts and passwords and whatnot. Well, I'm done here, uh, it's time for this guy to shine. All right, we're back home right now. We spent around an hour at the beach. Then I got home. I chatted with the colleagues for the morning. I am making it a point to use the OnePlus as my main communications device here. I'm not putting it down on a wireless charging pad or anything. And the battery is currently at 76%. Not ideal, but I did take a lot of clips and a bunch of photos down at the beach. We're gonna take a look at some of them right now. The camera of the OnePlus 10 Pro is pretty good. It's not excellent, uh, it's not the best. We did compare it to the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro just last week. So when it comes to the OnePlus 10 Pro, its colors can be a bit on the dull side sometimes and also it doesn't treat highlights as well as the other flagships which are capable of pulling more details from them and um, really representing them more realistically. Still, if you're just using the OnePlus 10 Pro, as you can probably see on your screen right now, uh, the footage looks uh, great. Sometimes exposure dances around while you're recording a video and photos can look pretty inspiring as well. When it comes to the camera experience with this thing, I would say it's pretty good. It's quite quick to get into the camera app, just double tap the power key. And then you have a very easy zoom slider to use and a bunch of modes that are currently popular like portrait mode and of course night mode and so on. Now what does irk me about the OnePlus 10 Pro is that you do have a 3.3 telephoto lens here but the phone does not use that for portraits. No, when you go into portrait mode you will be taking portraits with a 2 times digital zoom from the main lens which it does look good, you know, it's not bad by any means, but a three times telephoto camera is excellent for portraits and I have no idea why portrait mode would not use that one. Now, if it weren't a working day, uh, what I would be doing around this time of day would probably be something like logging into the cloud and downloading some raw video, which I could um, edit on the phone and post to social medias, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So I can log into my cloud. I have a bunch of um, clips over there ready for editing, which I usually pull from. And then I use an app called Video Leap, which is fairly new to Android. Uh, it's pretty easy to use, pretty cool. It has keyframes, it has various effects. It's still a bit buggy and crashes from time to time, but you can definitely check it out. So I'm just gonna make a quick um, one minute clip with it right now for my personal social media and see how uh, that affects the battery and how well the phone performs throughout. All right then, it's 11.05. I just spent around 20 minutes to create this 40 second video, which is not much, but it kind of shows what I would uh, do with a lot of keyframing and animations going in and out with effects. I'm currently exporting it. The phone is down to 71% battery. I am here! Now, a quick word about this design and feel. Now, even though it's a large phone, most of them are nowadays, the OnePlus 10 Pro feels kind of thin and light with its tapered off edges and its 200 gram weight. For example, I've jogged with an iPhone 12 Pro Max and you can feel that one weighing you down. While the OnePlus 10 Pro here wasn't that much of a problem either in my hand or in my large pocket. Using it under direct sunlight was also not a problem. Manually, the maximum brightness of these goes up to 500 nits, but when you blast it with a strong light source, the display will automatically boost up to around 760 nits for a limited time. I had no problem viewing the screen, interacting with the phone or setting up shots outside in the sunlight. When it comes to the Android experience on these, now everyone was mad at OnePlus when they announced that they would be merging with Oppo's Color OS. 
However, the latest decision is that OnePlus stays with Oxygen OS, which is its own Android skin, and Oppo stays with Color OS. They still share the same code base, and while OnePlus 10 Pro's Oxygen OS 12 has adopted some Oppo features, it still has some of that old OnePlus DNA as well. Now, I happen to really like Oppo's features, and whatever was included here from them, I find really cool. I love this slight gesture that makes it easy to reach anything on your home screen. I like all the customizations like icon shapes, fingerprint scanner animation, and quick launch of apps by holding down on the scanner. And then there's the OnePlus shelf, which is new to me, it's exclusive to Oxygen OS. This is a different widget space that you can call up by sliding down from the top right of the screen. All in all, it's a very fleshed out software experience, the, you don't feel like there is a lot of extra added to it, but in the same time, it doesn't feel like it's missing a lot of anything. It's snappy, the haptics are great, and it allows you a lot of freedom without bogging the system down at all. The one thing I do hate about it, the default ringtones. Like, I've actually missed calls because the default ringtone uh, just doesn't register as a phone ring to my brain. Check this out. And the default notification sound um, just doesn't sound like a text message, it sounds like a battery low alert. What? What? Uh, this is uh, not a huge complaint, just, just a warning to new owners. Make sure you pick out a ringtone that actually sounds like a ringtone. Okay, give me a second to tell you about today's sponsor. We live in a digital age where we connect to all of these different accounts through all of these different devices. Smartphones, laptops, tablets, desktop PCs, and with all those accounts and all those passwords, security and transition from one device to another are important. You don't want to be the guy who has all of their passwords set to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 just because they're easy to remember, right? That's why today's sponsor, Roboform, can help you out a ton. It's a multi-platform app that will remember all of your complex login details and get you in with a single click or tap. Roboform can also generate new passwords for you every time you create a new account. And boy, these generated passwords can get long, complex and definitely hard to crack. Thankfully, those long complex passwords are synced to the cloud and will be available to you on all your devices so long as you have the Roboform app or browser extension. Roboform uses industry standard encryption and has over 20 years of experience in protecting that data. And yeah, your browser probably already does this, but the idea here is that with Roboform you can move from Android to iOS to Mac to Windows with just the one app and have your passwords synced in one place. So if you're like me, OnePlus 10 Pro in one hand and an iPad in the other, Roboform can definitely help you out and save you a ton of headache. If you want to go a step further and speed up other processes in your daily routines, you can also add credit cards to Roboform or use the app for two-factor authentication. And if you have a problem, anything at all, there's a 24-7 email customer support, so they can get you up and running quickly. Interested? Well, follow our special link down in the description, you can get Roboform for as much as 42% off per year, or that's as low as $13.90 per year. Thanks Roboform for sponsoring this video, and let's move on with the OnePlus 10 Pro! Alright, it's pretty much time to call it. It's almost 5pm and I am down to 12% battery. Now, it's not ideal, but do keep in mind that I spent the whole day torturing this phone, communicating through it, all of these shots and pictures and b-roll and the camera use. Plus, at the end, I hooked it up to Bluetooth earbuds and I spent one hour's meeting in uh, Google Meet. So. It is what it is. Also, I'm pretty confident in it because with this thing's fast charger, you can literally top it up in the matter of minutes. So, not a two-day battery life, not at all. But not too bad, I guess. Anyway, thanks for checking out our video, living with the OnePlus 10 Pro, which is shooting my face right now. Do like and subscribe for more of this content, and I'll see you next time.